eggs and ham, right? This is a dish that I think works perfect for brunch, but it can also work throughout the week. We're gonna start with our pickles, right? So, the pickles is just simple. Red cabbage, red, red cabbage, white cabbage, some carrots. We're just gonna to toss that together. A little bit of ginger, some garlic and bay leaves, white wine vinegar, let it sit like that, and a little bit of lime juice. And you just, you sort of just want to massage it. You just want to sort of toss it. We're adding in here, in these pickles, we have a little bit of chilies as well. And with the chilies, you can go as high as habanero, and you can go as, you know, low as jalapeno, and sort of decide it yourself, right? With the bacon or, or the pork, it doesn't really matter what cut you use, whether you use butt or shoulder. You want to really rub in the flavors, right? So I would say, if you're gonna cook this meal on Saturday, I would buy it on Thursday. And then I would figure out what marinade, how to brine it. Maybe just put it a little bit of water and salt, then lift it out, minimum two hours. And then put, what we're gonna do here, it's really a jerk blend. A little bit of heat, a little bit of chili, you rub it in on both sides. Then the blend between cinnamon, allspice, scallion, and I'm gonna use the scallion, I'm really gonna use the scallion twice here. Habanero, so you have to be careful with that, that's super strong, right? Ginger, I'm using it in two, in two places. And as I, the scallion, the ginger, the garlic, I always toast them off first. And then I'm gonna put some of the raw ingredients on top and then I'm gonna make a puree, rub it, and cook it off on low heat. Have a little bit of soy and molasses. And then I would put this in, in the oven, right? On low heat, let's say 300. And I would cook it for minimum six hours. Let it rest overnight in the same liquid. Then the next day, slice it and it's perfect. All right, so you wanna toast off the spices that we're doing here. Toasting off the scallion, toasting off a little bit of the chilies. And then can add a little bit of, of the brown sugar into the pan as well. And then I'm just gonna mix it all up with lots of olive oil. Eggs, for me, it really comes down to texture. And if you have something like pork with lots of flavor, lots of spice, you don't wanna have necessarily a well done cooked egg. So I would just take water, salt, lots of vinegar, and poached egg. So the opportunity here, you poach it, you drop it in. Just like that, right? You let that simmer, and as that's simmering away, we're gonna start the beans. So I pretty much have the same flavor going up, even if we cook the beans here. Ginger, a little bit of carrot, bunch of beans, some tomato paste, again, brown sugar, some chicken stock, just gonna fold in a little bit of spinach. Not more than that. So I poached some eggs here before. And again, same thing here. A Lot of olive oil. And then I'm just using this jerk spice mix and I'm just gonna toss them around. So, our dish is coming together, right? So we have eggs over here, we have the pickles over here, we have the beans and spinach over here. The bacon is cooked. That's the beauty when you do a demo, right? The six hour became 22 minutes. But the bacons are cooked, so I'm gonna plate this up. So we're just gonna plate this up. Nice. Just gonna put a little bit of that beans. Did you have breakfast this morning? No, I did not. That's good, perfect timing. I love it. And the best thing about this is that it's free. Next time I'm gonna charge you. So this is, you can't beat that.